Hello, hello, beautiful ladies. I am so excited about today's topic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Zanny B. Davis, where I speak all about motherhood, pregnancy, hit the birth in the works. But listen, today I am going to be sharing some deep, deep stuff today because I don't know how many of you know that I've been on this journey, right? Like I feel I've been feeling for a very long time, last couple of months, especially since I became a mom, like I have a destiny, obviously, we all have a destiny, we all have a, a purpose from God, right? But I just had this overriding desire from God, like, he's calling me to do something when it comes to helping women, helping moms, and just helping us to not only live our best lives, right, but live an abundant life, because God said, like, he came, like, Jesus came on this earth so that we could have life more abundantly, that's just the way it, way it is, right, our lives are not supposed to be stressful, our lives are not to be filled with worry, our lives are not God will not, did not create us to be overwhelmed, stressed, fearful, those of us who know the Bible, I know the Bible speaks so much about fear and today I um in my journaling and in my prayer time with God and devotional like the um scripture that came to me and that I read was Isaiah 41 I think it's chapter 8 um verse 18 and it was saying like um like do this is gonna come to me right now right like do not fear because I am with you right do not be dismayed because I am your God and he said, I will strengthen you and I will help you and I will uphold you with your with my righteous right hand. And that came to me today and I was like, I just meditated on that verse. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a YouTube video about this. Because I think as women, too many times we are living in situations where we feel stuck we feel helpless we feel like we don't have any control we feel powerless and so we're giving our power to other people right like oh i can't do this like i'm dependent on my spouse i'm dependent on my boss i'm dependent on my mom whatever it may be right or in the case of having given birth right oh i'm dependent on the nursing staff or on the doctors or whatever it may be we always feel like we have no power so we just give that away right like we feel like if we are helpless like we we, we, we don't have a say right we don't we're not confident and that's what what i've been going through these last couple of months like just doubting myself the self-doubt the self-worry a lot of times it kept coming back to me being feeling worthy am i worthy of this this gift or this purpose that god has called me to do like in life like i feel worthy of being a mom of course i'm blessed i'm so grateful to have my daughter i'm so grateful to have my husband i am so grateful but when it comes to helping other women i'm like am i worthy of actually going out there and supporting other women and god is like yes everything that i that you need you have it within you already and this is what i want you to go out there and tell these women and this has just been it now like yesterday i had such a profound realization because i started working with a life coach as well and I kept going back and forth with her and I'm like, I just feel so like, oh, like, I don't know. And then it just came to me something she said. And she was like, everything that you're saying to me, I am believing it. She said that to me. And why are you not believing it? So the thing is like, I know that my goal is to empower you, empower every single woman on this earth to realize that, you know what, we have the power already. God has given us every authority, every power within us already. He said that. He said, and also one of my favorite verses, and this may be a bit scary to you because I just discovered this, this um, scripture, I think it's in Matthew or Luke or one of them. I think it's Luke. And Jesus was saying to his disciples, look, I saw Satan drop like lightning from heaven. And my God, that just shook me up. I was like, oh my God, Jesus saw that. Like the devil, he fell, he dropped, he is gone. Like he has no power, right? Jesus says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. He is gone. And he said, I gave you all authority. Nothing will harm you. He said, I gave you all authority to trample on the cobra and the snakes, right? Don't quote me. I'm just like paraphrasing this, right? And he said, nothing will harm you. And the Bible clearly says, Jesus said, I give you all power, the power and authority over every situation. Once you call on my name, it is done. He said, ask and it shall be given to you. And these things just constantly play in my mind. I'm like, why are we feeling so stuck? Why are we 
we feeling like we can't have the things that we desire when God is saying I give it to you already the power is within you and my life coach that's what she's been working with me on because I needed to get back to that right I need to get back to my power I needed to get back to like the authority that God has already given to me because I find many times as Christians and in my own journey like I just kind of like pray and it's obviously it's amazing to pray it's amazing to fast it's amazing to wait upon God like that is what we're called to do by the end of the day if God is showing you a way and you do not take it then you will only have yourself to blame because you know that God has already been giving you whatever you need already right so for example when I was like pregnant and I had this huge fear about birth and, and and birthing process like I was scared I had so many stories like the narrative that were playing in my head that's going to be long painful labor it was going to be so dramatic my, my, remember my sister saying to me that I can't do this because it's so hard and I was like no no god there's got to be a better way and just like that he my midwife came to me and she was like, there's this hypnobirthing course that's offered at the hospital and this is what happens and this is what it helps you to do. And I was like, God, this is from you. Thank you. I did the hypnobirthing program. I believed in it because it's about believing. It's always about believing. And hypnobirthing is just one of those techniques. Like it just helps you to trust yourself, trust your body. And as a Christian, I'm like, yes, God created this body to birth this baby, to carry this baby and to do everything already. He gave that to me already. He didn't come he didn't like give women um like i don't know whatever like a artificial hormone on the side to say okay when you're ready to give birth this is what you have to use no everything is already in here already and he's like trust that i have created you in my image trust that i've created everything that you need already to do the work that you are called to do whether it's to birth your baby you can do it without all the harassment of the horrible pain and the long labor you just have to believe that you can do it and it's the same thing with my coaching my coaching business like god is saying like i have given you everything that you need already experiences that you've been through the things that i've called you to do the things that you have done and you have already always trusted in me but at the end of the day you have believed that i have given you everything i remember let me give you this story there was this one well i was living in germany right when i moved from the caribbean and i went up when i came to live with my husband in germany i had a driver's license from the caribbean i only drove automatic right so we got to germany and they allowed me to drive on my caribbean license i had an international license that i applied for and they allowed me to drive on it for six months in germany now we were going to be there for two years so after the six months they were like well you either have to have a german license or you go back to the uk and get a uk license so i was like you know what i'm in germany already i'm just to get a german license let me tell you guys like the test was they said to me um you're gonna do the test you have to do the written and you have to do the driving even though you can drive They're like you have to sign up for school so then luckily there was a school like right below me in my area so like it was like it was like in walking distance and you have to go to the school you have to do the test now they said to me the test could be in english though the written one which is a computerized, it can be in English, but when you go on the road with the instructor, he's only speaking German. That's what they said to me. He's like, no, we're not going to be an exception for you. He only speaks German. Now, my instructor, bless him, was a, a British guy. So he spoke English. So this was a guy who was taking me around during my practice. And obviously, I could drive already. So I only did about three or four practice just to get accustomed to the roads, going on the Autobahn, which is like the motorway in Germany, and getting myself familiarized. He was actually trying to get me to drive the manual. But I was like, nope, I could only drive automatic and I'm not interested. Now, the only automatic vehicle that that school had at the time was a huge Mercedes this car i want to tell you huge it was so big right but that was the only automatic every other vehicle was manual now my father had a, like a minivan back home as automatic and that's what i used to drive so i wasn't scared with that big van that big car i could maneuver it well but let me tell you guys it was scary it was really scary and i prayed i'm like god i and we had to pay big money for this test right so i'm like god i have this little amount of money yes i'm working but I, I i'm not gonna be wasting a lot of money to get this license i could drive and so i'm just gonna go get this test done and get this go on the road and get my my test done and that's it i'm like god this is what we're gonna do i studied my butt off i went in i got the test i got 100 percent on the computerized test but guess what i had to do the work i had to study i had to do whatever i need now we're going on the driven one now the driving test now the guy in the back the old guy he's german and i just like god said to me just learn left and right and that was links is left and reach is right in germany in german 
Rich and Lynx. And I, I tell you this now, ladies. I just remember Lynx and Rich that was going through my head the entire time I'm driving. And all I'm doing is just listening to him in the background going, blah, 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 Lynx, blah, 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 Rich. <laughs> I was like, God, this is you. When he finally said to pull up, well, the my instructor was with me. So he said, okay, he said you could pull up. When he said that you could pull up and he goes, past, I was like, thank you. Jesus, <laughs> thank you, God, right? So my faith was in myself that I could do this, that God is going to enable me to do this. Like, I don't care what obstacles come in my way. He could only speak German, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'm going to get this license because God has already enabled me. I could drive and I'm going to get this done. Until you have that belief in yourself. Yes, we trust God and we have faith and we pray. Of course, we do those things because God is sovereign, right? And it's something that's what I heard from a lady. She was like, uh, preacher she was like don't say god is in control because to be honest he's not in control this earth is the devils and his little minions right like they're in control down here right god is sovereign he has everything in his hands okay only when we say god take control of our lives take control of our bodies blah blah blah. that's when god takes control okay so i don't want i don't like to say god is in control god is sovereign and until i say god I pray and I like, God, take control of the situation for me, enable me, take away the fear, take away the doubt, and just give me courage and let me go forward and do what I need to do. And that's what I pray every single day when I'm doing something. If I had an interview, I've changed so many jobs. I've worked in Germany, I've worked in Cyprus. All of these times, I had to do an interview up against how many candidates. And not until I believed in myself that I could do this job, I'm an amazing person, I'm capable, that I go in and I kill the interview, all right? So whatever you're going through right Right now maybe you're feeling really overwhelmed with motherhood and you're working on the side and so many things are going on in your marriage whatever it may be maybe your goal is to change career maybe you're out there and you're seeking to find a, a spouse or whatever it may be until you realize that you are worthy of the desire that you have of that goal that you're trying to achieve until you realize oh my gosh the power is within me and this is what i want and this is what i'm going to go and set forth to do you're not going to achieve it, okay? Because that self-doubt and that self-fear is going to hold you back and doubting yourself. You could believe in God as much as you want. You could pray and fast as much as you want. But until you take, take back that authority and that power that God said, I have already given to you, you're not going to achieve it. So today, I just want to remind you, this is how you believe in yourself. This is how you believe in who you are. You just realize right now, and I want to just take you through an exercise right now where you just visualize yourself let's let's just take a deep breath right let's just calm down and let's just visualize how it would be for you if you were living in that purpose and that calling that you have that desire that you have right now whether it is like you're pregnant now and you want to have the most amazing birth and experience whether it's your mom right now and you want to just be peaceful and calm and just be really relaxed with your kids maybe it is that you are changing career as i said before whatever it is that desire that you want you want to buy a house whatever it may be you want to feel at peace just imagine yourself right now just experiencing that feeling of how it would be if you had that thing and i want you to really feel it and hold that feeling inside of your heart and just smile and say yes god we did it i did it oh my gosh i did it i'm so excited and i want you to remind yourself that this is what god desires for you to experience he wants you to experience the fullness of his joy, the fullness of his peace, his abundance in your life, okay? He wants you to have it. And not until you step forward in your power and be like, God, I want this. I can have it and I'm going to work my butt off to get it. I believe in me. I believe that you have given me everything I need to achieve this thing. I don't have nothing that this other person doesn't have. This person who is living the life that I want, they don't have what I don't have. I have it as well except maybe the self-belief. And I am going to believe in my worth and I'm believing it. And I want you to make that decision now with so much depth. Like that decision has to come from your heart. That decision has to be like, yes, this is for me. I am so excited. This is what I want and this is what I'm going to have. Decide on that now. And then ask God to just give you courage, give you faith throughout the day, give you peace and just do the work take the action so let's say for example it's hypnobirthing you want to have the most positive birth experience so here's how i'm going to take it 
I can have the most positive birth experience. I could have a great experience during my birth. I am going to have quick, fast labor. I'm going to have my baby. It's going to be natural and it's going to be so amazing. That's the desire, okay? And then I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a course on hypnobirthing. I'm going to learn. I'm going to practice. I'm going to believe that God created this body for just that and I can do it. She's done it. This other woman has done it. Thousands of women has done it, have done it and I can do it as well. Practice, practice, go over the work, go over the paper, go over the, the coursework, practice the relaxation scripts, practice, and when the time comes for you to give birth, you do it. It's simple as that. It's simple as that. I'm so excited. Can you feel it? <laughs> Okay, that is it. This video is a bit longer because I really had to share this with you and I pray that it has en you enjoyed it and it has touched you in some way that this story reminds you of how much believing in yourself matters to you achieving your goals and your dream. And if you're still in doubt about how you can actually believe in yourself and how you can actually trust yourself, I want you to reach out to me. Reach out to me. I want to help you in whatever way that I can. My email is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Zanny B. Davis come on over and hang out with me and Zaina throughout the day and if you have any topic that you want me to share with you here on Instagram on YouTube sorry just let me know in the comments as well I'll be happy to to do that for you so go ahead and share this video like it comment and of course subscribe to my channel I it was really good just sharing this with you it came like oh I had to share this with you I had to share this with you I had to share this with you so believe in yourself trust yourself know that you're worthy know that you are powerful know that you are amazing and you deserve to have the most amazing life that God has created for you Okay, lots of love, lovelies. Have a great day and I'll speak with you soon. Bye.